I'm inside the reception of Lomas Prison in Bishop Briggs near Glasgow and this prison houses over 700 inmates and it's maybe not the first place you'd expect to find a professional bakery which serves shops in the city of Glasgow. So today I've come to meet the man behind the bakery, Matt Fountain, and also to meet some of the apprentices who are serving their sentence here. Freedom Bakery is a social enterprise whereby we've set up an artisan bakery inside a maximum security prison here at Low Moss and we're training prisoners to become artisan bakers more generally so that they have a job opportunity in the catering industry once they leave. Now I'm with Tony who's one of the apprentices here at the Freedom Bakery. Um, Tony, how long have you been working in the bakery for? Uh, it's been about two and a half months now, aye, two right. and a half months. And then will you be working in here until the end, aye, of, your the end of my sentence? Aye, until the end of my sentence, so okay. that's the aim anyway. So and like how it. long have you got left? It could be six weeks if I get tag, if not, it'll be December okay. if I don't get the tag. Right. And can I ask you what it was that brought you in? Uh, a drug related charge. Okay. Uh, Initially I was looking to set up a bakery outside of a prison and we were going to work with people with convictions but actually the prison service got in touch with me and said come and look at this vacant kitchen we've got in Low Moss. Then we entered into a contract with the, with the Scottish Government and, and thus here we are now. So it is open to everyone within this prison. The way that they get in is to apply and we have um, you know, job applications out every week and everyone that applies will interview. Out of the, option, the work related options that are available in the prison, why did you go for the bakery? So sometimes you can be in the hall and think about things and when you come down mm -hmm. here it just takes it away from you, yeah. you know what I mean, because you're in with the boys. And this is something that I would like to do outside as well. I used to do um, construction but I was never in job full time. Mm -hmm. and so this is more permanent, so when I get back out to kind of restart my life. Once I'm out, I could uh, try maybe one of the supermarkets, try, yeah, and get, okay. try and get my foot in the door somewhere around. Yeah. Mm. But the boys help you as well, as just, they didn't just let you like that show away, they'll help you, they keep in contact with you, so that's, that's good for to help me as well, because mm -hmm. I've got my own family outside that I need to start providing for. And your family will be delighted to hear that you're doing I something like this they as love well. It, I'm in here. Aye, they love it that I'm in here. Uh, they want me to go home and that, make cakes with my children and oh, that. Brilliant. So. Do, they come, do they come to see you or just come to get your rolls? <laughs> Maybe a bit of beef, aye. Maybe a bit of beef. The reason I chose baking is because it's a, an art that is about science and formula, but also about, you know, creativity, using your hands. It has the right mixture of everything to bring out the best in people. In fact, our first um, graduate is um, out and he is trialling in a bakery in Glasgow. So that's quite impressive. And have you got a good group of friends in oh, here? Have you met? Aye, I've met a lot of good people, aye. Right. A lot of good friends, aye. That must help you though as well, that must help you aye, as a person. Aye, definitely, aye. Uh, if it wasn't for like, some of the boys and that, you'd struggle. They keep you, yeah. keep you going as well and that. And like, playing football at the weekend and that, that's, that's good as well. So. And do you make good rolls? I didn't know about that. <laughs>